everyone, this is Jen from We Wear Your Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to embroider the face on the bunny from my pattern, the Goodnight Bunny. Um, this is actually on the back of my finished bunny because I didn't have time to make another head, but it should do the trick. All right, so you're going to need an embroidery needle. I like the big ones with the big eye and then blunt tip. I think these are the best for embroidering faces, easy to get your yarn through, and then you won't split any stitches when you're um, inserting your needle, which is always nice. You're going to need a good length of black worsted weight yarn. I start kind of on the side of the bunny, insert your needle through, and you're going to want to come up kind of in line with the ear, a couple stitches down, and we're going to begin the corner of the first eye. So you're going to pull through, leave about maybe a foot and a half to two feet. I like to have lots of extra to work with. And then you're going to look across. You're going to count five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. So you're going to want your needle to come out of this hole right here. So we're going to go in. And then we're actually going to come out where you want the first eyelash to, um, to end. So it's a little hard to picture. So your eye is going to kind of go down and your eyelash is actually going to pull that yarn down a little bit. And we want it to be about two stitches from this hole and about one stitch down, if that makes sense. So you're going to insert about two stitches away, one stitch from where you want the eye to land. I'm going to pull through. You're going to want to leave this loose. See how you can kind of pull it down into a half circle shape? So then you're going to take your needle. We're actually going to go back up over the stitch. And we're going to go down through where we want our other eyelash to end. So I did mine about two stitches apart. I swear this will look better in a second. Carefully, you don't tingle your yarn like I just did. Pull through. There's your first eyelash. Now we're going to pull this down a little bit and our second eyelash is going to go right here in the middle. So once again, you're going to go about one stitch up over that eyelid and then you're going to go through this hole down to where you want your other eyelash to start. So once again, about two stitches away, kind of put it through. Make sure your arms on the other side so you don't get tangled. Pull it through, you've got your second eyelash. Then you're gonna go back over and do the same thing. About one stitch up over this black yarn. Now, instead of making another, you can either put your yarn back through this hole to end this eye, or if you have enough yarn, you can put it over and start your other eyelash or an eyelid. So I put my other one about two stitches away, so I would insert my needle here to begin the next one or I could go over here to end. I'm gonna go ahead and start my next one. So I'm gonna put my needle all the way over, about two stitches away from where that other one ended. Right there. And then I'm gonna pull, you want it to pull snug, but not so tight enough that it ends up warping what you're doing. You're gonna take your needle again. You're gonna count five stitches because we're gonna make another eyelid that goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of in line with the ear. Same row as you were with your other starting point. And then I'm gonna start my eyelash on this side. About two stitches down. Remember to leave that loose. You can see how it's gonna bend down. Kind of want it to match your other one. Take your needle, pull it back up over, just like we did on the other eye. Then put it down two stitches away. Pull. You've made your first eyelash on that side. You're gonna go back over. Insert about two stitches away once more. Do it again. Now I'm on my last one so instead of continuing I'm gonna put it all the way back over through the same exact point I came through. I'm 
right there. I'm going to grab my needle. I'm going to pull it all the way through. Now, you can see my double face over here. I'm going to tie off. I tie one, tie two, then I clip it short. Now you kind of have these funny ends hanging out. I like to take my needle and I just poke it back in. Sometimes I stick it in the side and kind of scoop it under a little bit. You just want to poke it all the way in there. Then you have your two sleeping eyes with three eyelashes. You can add more eyelashes if you want. You can make them come down further. These are maybe a little funky looking since I'm on camera. Um, and next we're going to do the nose. So you're going to need whatever yarn you chose. I like to do pink. Put it on your yarn needle. Once again, I like to insert it right here on the side. You're going to come kind of to the side in line with one of these corners, either the side or the side. doesn't really matter which one. Pull it through maybe about a foot and a half. Then I go over about two, two and a half stitches. One, two. I'm actually going to go right here. Then I'm going to pull it through the same spot. So I inserted my needle here. It's coming out right over here. Caught the arm. There we go. All right, pull it through. So you've got one little loop. Now you're going to do this about four to five times. You can do more if you want a thicker nose. You can do less if you want a thinner nose. There's two. I don't really pull it too tight, just a little bit. Give it a little bit of poofiness. All right, three, four, and five. Now on my fifth one, instead of coming out this side like I did before, I'm actually going to come out kind of under the stitches right here, under the nose that I made, right in the middle. I'm going to pull that. Then I'm going to go about two stitches down. One, two. Insert this. Now I'm inserting to make the line down, kind of like a little mouth. And then I'm actually going to pull my needle out through this side where we inserted our pink to begin with. So all the way over there. Pull that, and then you have a little line down. We're going to do the same thing as before. You can either trim or tie first. It's up to you. I'm going to clip those. Tie one two times. Carefully don't pull it too tight or you can mess up your nose and mouth you just did. I'm going to trim again so the ends are a little bit shorter. And then I like to use my needle to poke it. Poke in. Then we're going to do a little scoop. This one's not going in quite as easy. That's okay. Sometimes they're a little tricky. There we go. All right, then you have two eyes and a nose. So there's the first side I did, just to show you. Here's the side I did before, pretty similar. I feel like it's a little different every time you do it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You can make your bunny asleep, you can make him awake. You could put some corner eyelashes if you want. This is just kind of what I prefer. It's a little creepy having two faces, but all right, hopefully that helps. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. Um, and I hope you enjoy the Good Night Bunny pattern.